Good evening. Today is Thursday, May 16, 2019, and I welcome you all to the Fairfield Board of Education regular meeting. I now call this meeting to order. Mrs. Lane, will you call the roll, please? Mr. Begley? Present. Mr. Birding? Present. Mr. Hare? Present. Mrs. O'Neill? Mrs. Shorter? Here. Uh, Mr. Begley, will you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Yes, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Begley. First uh, item on the agenda tonight is... Uh, the presentation and resolutions. Mr. Smith. Uh, Mr. Birdie, members of the board, we have two presentations scheduled this evening. Our first presentation is always a very special presentation that we do each May, and that is the presentation of our Golden Apple Awards. These awards are only given out to a select few individuals in our schools and our departments. And this present presentation provides us with an opportunity to celebrate some of our employees. Uh, we take pride in being a school district that puts kids first, and we're very proud to recognize our employees tonight for what they do day in and day out for our students, our schools, and our community. This time, I'll turn it over to Roger Martin, Gina Gentry Fletcher, and Angie Neal. Thank you to the board for allowing us this time to celebrate and honor staff members who have gone above and beyond their normal job responsibilities and to work tirelessly to make Fairfield great. Out of hundreds of employees, you have been selected as a leader and shining example for all of your colleagues. It is our privilege to honor each of you tonight with the Golden Apple Award. Our first recipients are from the Transportation Department. Please welcome Bill Westerbeck and Jeanette Flick to present. Our first recipient is Doug Clark. Doug, would you please make your way down? <laughs> Doug Clark began working in the transportation department in August of 2014. Doug has shown himself to be a dependable, dedicated employee. Drivers who have witnessed Doug's interactions with the students on his bus have reported that he connects with his students in a way that encourages their respect and trust. He is soft-spoken, yet quick with a smile. Doug is always reliable and available to help out when needed. If we fill our open positions with more drivers like Doug, it will only strengthen our department. Congratulations to Doug Clark. The next recipient is Brittany Van Prague. Yeah. <laughs> Brittany joined the Fairfield City Schools Transportation Department in September of 2017. Brittany has strong roots in the community, having attended Fairfield High School and now raising three children in Fairfield. She is a strong supporter of the school district and the transportation department. This year, our department experienced an unusually high number of injuries and illnesses, and Brittany has stepped up at every opportunity to help cover open routes wherever needed. Brittany's strongest gift may be her smiling and cheerful spirit. It makes her a joy to be around for both coworkers and the students who ride the buses. She is an asset to our department Congratulations, Brittany Van Prague. <laughs> Next, please welcome from North Elementary, Principals Denise Hayes and Assistant Principal Kathy Landeen. Our first recipient from North is Kathy Ritchie. Kathy is one of those staff members that oh, Kathy 
Kelly is one of those staff members that we rarely hear from. We see her around the building mopping floors, cleaning the cafeteria, helping others, assisting our staff and students. The list goes on and on. She is a quiet and humble person who is always there to lend a hand when someone else needs it. She is a woman of few words, but she communicates very effectively through her caring eyes, her warm smile, and her gentle soul. In fact, we wish that we could change the name of this award to the Golden Heart Award because that is exactly what she possesses, a heart of gold. Kathy is one of those people who makes the building a better place to be just by having her in it. Her compassion and desire to help others is what makes us pleased to nominate her for this year's Golden Apple Award. Congratulations, Kathy Ritchie. And our next recipient from North is Nicole Rosenbeck. Nicole is a true instructional teacher, leader, who is not afraid of hard work or challenges and is a model of what lifelong learning should be. Words alone cannot express the gratitude we feel to have her as part of our building leadership team. She is a visionary leader in data analysis, differentiation, and meeting our students where they are. Nicole is constantly attending professional development programs and looking to improve her own skills. Most importantly, she is always there to help teachers move forward with our building goals by providing in-house professional development and providing support to colleagues when, re when needed. We are so appreciative of the investment she makes in our staff and our students. We feel blessed to have her at our school and are pleased to present her with this year's Golden Apple Award. Congratulations, Nicole. Please welcome next our South Elementary Principal Jason Hustle and Assistant Principal Scott Kaner. The first recipient from South is Joyce Schweikert. <laughs> Mr. Hustle wrote, when I first met Joyce seven years ago, she was using a mixtape for chorus concerts and music activities at South. Now, Joyce is linked into the music via Bluetooth. <laughs> if you think of music around South, you immediately think of Joyce. From her everyday hands-on lessons with instruments, utilizing the smart board, to offering up her lunchtime to practice the recorder with fifth graders, Joyce is passionate about teaching music to her students. In addition, Joyce is always willing to step up and help out wherever needed. For example, administrators have asked Joyce can you help out with the South Spotlight at the board meeting? Or will you have chorus students sing at the volunteer celebration? And Joyce is always willing. South Elementary is fortunate to have Joyce Schweikert on staff. Congratulations to you, Joyce. Next from South is Don Amon. This is Dawn's second year as the head cook at South. Dawn has assembled. <laughs> Dawn has assembled an all-star staff, which go over and beyond daily to feed all students. During the winter months, Dawn serves up a warm pot of soup each Wednesday to the South staff. Dawn holds high expectations for herself and her staff. Dawn will never ask her staff to do anything that she is not willing to do herself. Additionally, she often will drop everything she is doing to make a chicken salad sandwich for a hungry and impatient Mr. Hustle, <laughs> <laughs> or serve up a plate lunch to a starving Mr. Keener. Dawn, you make us want to work with you in Lunch Lady Land. Thank you for all you do each day. Congratulations, Dawn. Please welcome East Elementary Principal Dr. Paige Gillespie and Assistant Principal Jonathan McEldowney. And their honoree tonight is Sonia Newbright.
The natural ability to teach and lead, as well as engage, inspire, and produce results, defines, defines this talented teacher. She has been in the field of education for many years, but has definitely made her mark at East. Sonia makes an impact on her students, colleagues, and the community. She works with some of the most at-risk, troubled, struggle, struggling students in all grades. Sonia will not give up on her students, only continues to offer support and encouragement. She wants them to learn how to read, complete story problems, and get along with others. Her colleagues respect her because they know she is organized and involved and motivated. Sonia can be found at East planning with, the, with her co-teachers, organizing schedules and materials for her department, mentoring new teachers, contributing to meetings, putting out many fires, and at the same time teaching a love for learning to her students. Sonia Newbright is an amazing teacher with an amazing heart. Thanks for all you do. Congratulations, Sonia. The second recipient from East, Brenda Martinson. <laughs> Brenda Martinson is a media educational assistant at East. Her hard work and dedication is admired by all. She gives of herself daily. Brenda works with every student in the building once a week. This year, Brenda leads five to seven computer classes per day maintains three labs, four laptop carts, one iPad cart, and a partridge in a pear tree, I think, is going in there somewhere. <laughs> After some training several years ago, Brenda has independently fulfilled the responsibilities of her sessions by preparing materials, games, assessments, and activities on the computers, and she really enjoys getting to know her students and seeing them grow. Students work so hard that they want to make the most of their time with Mrs. Martinson. Brenda is a role model to all. It is her caring and compassionate attitude that makes her this year's Golden Apple recipient from Fairfield East. Sincere thanks to Brenda for all she does. She is a very special person. Congratulations, Brenda Martinson. Please welcome West Principal Missy Muller and Assistant Principal Therese Thomas. Our first recipient from West is Ann Stokes. Ann has been teaching English language arts in Fairfield for 13 years. Students know that each day when they enter her room, they will be challenged to higher level learning and thinking, to be empathetic to others and to act with integrity. Anne is able to take on challenging students and find ways to support their needs, even going so far as to do laundry for a student because the need was a barrier to the student's learning. What is most impressive about Anne, even in the hardest of times, she continues to be positive, smile, laugh, and show enthusiasm for the next day. Anne has a deep knowledge and passion for language arts and the character development of her students. She teaches with compassion, grace, and love. Anne is not just about building better, better learners, she is about building better people. As the saying goes, West is the best because of teachers like Anne Stokes. Congratulations, Anne. <laughs> Next honoree is Debbie Combs. <laughs> Debbie Combs is a special education assistant. Debbie has the ability to work with any age, any academic level, and any behavior challenge. She is the person every parent and teacher wants working with their student. Debbie has high expectations and compassion for all student, re students regardless. Debbie never runs out of things to do. She goes above and beyond and is always searching for ways to support or help others. She buys holiday gifts for students who are in need of specific things like shoes and clothing. Thankfully, she is a very generous person because she loves to bake and can pickle. <laughs> and we benefit from her greatness. 
so you need to come to district office and share some of those pickles. <laughs> Debbie has a passion for children and people, and it shows every day at school. We are truly blessed to have Debbie Combs at West, and we are looking forward to having her one more year before she retires. Congratulations, Debbie. Next up is Principal Carrie Gallo from Central. The first recipient from Central is Diana Colblin. I have a spare two minutes. Do you need anything at all? I noticed a few people who were absent, so I stepped in to provide additional support. I love this school. I, I love these students. These teachers are the best I've ever met. This is what you will hear when talking to Diana Coblin. Diana is best described as a positive, spirited, hardworking go-getter. She is always willing to lend a helping hand, and she freely gives us a shoulder on which to cry and never hesitates to offer a laugh or cheer us up on a hard day. The support she provides the teachers and the students with whom she works is undeniably amazing. Diana has the magical ability to build connections with many of our toughest kids, and they learn quickly that she is always in their corner. We are so lucky to have such a kind-hearted and loving educational assistant at Central. Thank you for being you. Congratulations, Diana Koblen. Our next recipient, I don't know where we are, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there we go. Is Carrie Burdine. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Boy, what a year this has been. At the beginning of the year, Carrie started off with her typical optimistic vision and excitement for the best school year ever. Then, just a few weeks into the school year, her teaching partner had to have emergency surgery and needed to take off several weeks to recoup. Did that stop Carrie from continuing with her positive attitude? No way. She simply decided to kick it into overdrive so that no one and nothing skipped a beat. Carrie deeply loves her students as if they are her own. It is not uncommon to see her hugging her students or shedding a tear because she too feels their pain. She loves them so much that she refuses to ever give in or give up on them, even on her hardest days. She makes sure that she tells her students every day that she believes in them, they are important, they are capable, and that she will always be there for them. Thank you, Carrie, for loving the students you have, not the ones you wished you had. We are so lucky to have you part of our central family. Congratulations, Carrie. Please welcome Compass Principal Kim Watring and Assistant Principal Aisha Lambert. The first recipient from Compass is Connie Bray. Obviously, she travels with her own fan club there, which is absolutely <laughs> awesome. Connie is one of the most passionate, patient, and knowledgeable educational assistants around. She works hard every day to support our students with multiple disabilities, and her love for helping them succeed exudes from her. Her job is both emotionally and physically draining, but you would never know it by talking with Connie. Her positivity is contagious. The, le the list seems never ending of job responsibilities Connie completes. But what is equally important is that she does them all in a way that shows her heart and genuine love for helping others. She works tirelessly to ensure our special needs students feel included and loved, while at the same time teaching our general education students how to be inclusive, respectful, understanding, and loving. 
Thank you, Connie, for all that you do. I don't know what we would do without you. Congratulations to Connie Bray. One word. I guess we should call somebody up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Next recipient is Amy Dunn. <laughs> You can tell it's the end of the year. One word, impactful. Amy Dunn exemplifies in every way, every day, what it looks like to go above and beyond to the best, beyond to best help all our students succeed. Her heart and dedication to helping not only the students in her classroom, but our school as a whole is unparalleled. As Compass has been established, Amy has led, organized, problem solved, and implemented so much, including being one of our PBIS coaches. So much of what you see and feel as you walk through our school is in big part due to Amy's impact. With glittering eyes, she has been an integral part of our team, helping to build our school's legacy. She works with colleagues, parents, and students in a way that is truly amazing and sincere. The Compass family is stronger because of Mrs. Amy Dunn, and our students are lucky to be taught by her. Congratulations, Amy. Please welcome Superintendent Billy Smith, Transportation Director Bill Westerbeck, and Curriculum and Instruction Director Lanny Wildo to present the District Awards. First up is Jeanette Flick from Transportation. As Assistant Transportation Director, Jeanette works with the Transportation Director to ensure the department operates effectively and that students are provided safe, timely transportation. She does this job extremely well and is well respected. This year, Jeanette was presented with the opportunity to assume the role of Transportation Director while the director was out on an extended absence. She accepted this challenge and performed at a level that exceeded expectations. What made her performance even more impressive was the fact that the department was short-staffed during this time period. Jeanette went above and beyond to ensure the transportation department's performance did not suffer during this challenging time period. For these reasons, as well as her daily dedication to Fairfield City School District, I feel confident that Jeanette Flick is well deserving of this prestigious award. Congratulations, Jeanette. Next honoree is Jenny Thompson. I'm just gonna put it out there. Jenny Thompson is amazing. <laughs> she is able to wear many different hats at once and makes it seem effortless. Jenny has been the coordinator of elementary ed curriculum and instruction for eight years. And in this position, she has made many changes which, which directly benefit our students. Jenny has strengthened our early literacy program by ensuring our teachers of primary students use a multi-sensory approach for reading instruction. She has developed a summer tutoring program and has helped change our elementary school schedules to guarantee students have quality time in core instruction. In addition, Jenny manages the district's federal funds, including our Striving Readers Grant. This, this task takes a great deal of time, attention to detail, and communication with many stakeholders. Jenny makes the whole system flow smoothly. She also serves as the district's resident educator coordinator, where she works with all new teachers across the district, assists our library aides, and facilitates meetings for our elementary counselors. If all of this was not already enough, Jenny can always be found giving to others through thank you notes, cards, and other creative means. Jenny, thank you for all you give to the students and staff of Fairfield. Congratulations. Please welcome Creekside Principal Carrie Francini, 
and assistant principals Cassandra Delaney and Elise Parker. The first recipient from Creekside, Courtney Brinker. Courtney teaches eighth grade English language arts at Creekside and is absolutely an asset to the building. She approaches each day with a sense of humor and positivity that spreads to all those around that she encounters. One of her students stated, she's really good at connecting with students. She's fun and teaches us a lot. Another student said, she also finds good ways to teach us we're never really bored in her class. <laughs> the students are not the only lucky ones to have Courtney at Creekside. The staff members are fortunate as well. She is a leader in the building and an exemplary teacher. Courtney has shared her teaching strategies with other teachers at the Ohio Writing Project and High Ames workshops. Courtney is an invaluable member of the Creekside teaching staff and so deserving of the Golden Apple Award. Congratulations to Courtney. Next honoree is Billy Carberry. <laughs> Billy is a custodian at Creekside Middle School Billy is our Golden Apple winner this year for going above and beyond in every facet of his position. One staff member shared, Billy is there whenever we call him and he always has a smile on his face. If we have a special day such as hat day or holidays like St. Patrick's Day, Billy dresses the part and brings a smile to everyone's faces. Another staff member shared, Billy is always willing to help wherever it is needed. He even monitors the launch line this year and builds relationships with students in the process. Billy is invaluable when it comes to making sure things are ready to go for any meeting, game, or activity in the building. We are lucky to have him and very proud to honor him with our Golden Apple Award. Congratulations to Billy. Please welcome Crossroads Principal David Main with Assistant Principal Shannon Rocky. All right, Francine Ross, come on down. <laughs> Francine is the glue of Crossroads Middle School. She successfully connects and organizes all the moving parts. Francine exhibits a unique ability to manage many things at any given minute. Talking to a parent on a phone, texting a teacher, conducting a face-to-face -face conversation with a colleague, and of course, giving all her attention to the random student who has stopped by for a hug. She can do it all. Her desk will tell you that she has a million things all over the place. Amazingly, she is perfectly clear and aware of all that goes on. Francine understands how important it is to be relational. Without a doubt, she is the best friend to everyone. I mean, everyone. <laughs> we all need a Francine in our lives. She is extremely kind, loving, and caring. Thank you, Francine. Fairfield City Schools is extremely fortunate to have you as a member of the team. Congratulations to Francine Ross. And next honoree is Jamil Manning. <laughs> Mr. Manning is the guy who is always willing. His motto is, I'll do it. Do you want to coach? Yes. Do you want to tutor? Yes. Do you want to cover a class? Yes. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't say it quite like that. <laughs> or how about sponsor our anime club? Yes. What is anime? <laughs> he is the ultimate team player that clearly understands what it takes to be a great team member. 
Additionally, Mr. Manning builds strong relationships with our students. He is successfully finds connections with many of our students, including many of them who have earned the title of most challenging. <laughs> Jamil displays amazing patience, sincerity, with the right amount of high expectations. Mr. Manning is great for our students and great for the Fairfield City School District. Congratulations. Please welcome from Special Services, Director Kathy Gilbert, Jen Skirvin, Shannon Williamson, and Teresa Sunderman. And I do have one note. Um, recipient Kathy Ogilvie could not attend this evening, um, but we do offer our congratulations. So let's give her a round of applause. She the recipient from Special Services, Beth Pentazzi. <laughs> Beth is an occupational therapist that has only been in the district for one school year, but has already made her knowledge, experience, and expertise known to help our students with special needs. She works effectively and collaboratively with related service providers, teachers, administrators, and lawyers. Beth has taken the initiative to research and learn all about assistive technology to better meet the needs of our staff and students. She has become a valued member of the IEP teams that she is involved with. Beth is an asset and a pleasure to work with. Congratulations, Beth. Next, please welcome freshman principal Michael Berkemeyer and assistant principal Emily Newton. Our first recipient is Kelly, and I don't want to say the last name wrong. Dish. 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 Kelly Dish. <laughs> Kelly has served the Fairfield City School District for the last 20 years. Not only does Kelly have high expectations for her students, she has high expectations for our building and our district as a whole. Kelly is a tremendous motivator and an extremely hard worker. She excels in teaching our brightest students as well as our most at-risk students. As department head, Kelly has played a huge role leading our entire English department where this past year we achieved the best scores we've ever had exceeding the state standards in every single subgroup. Because of this success, the freshman school earned the State Board of Education's Momentum Award for the second year in a row, and this would not have been possible without Kelly. Thank you for everything you do leading our building and teaching our students. Congratulations. <laughs> and the next honoree is Leonore. Campos. Did I pronounce that correctly? <laughs> Leonor Campos has served as an EL tutor at the freshman school for the, for the last three years. She is helpful, friendly, supportive, kind, funny, empathetic, and sometimes has proven to be extremely, extremely valuable on a daily basis. Leonore's translating skills have saved the day on many occasions for the office, our staff, and many community members visiting our school. However, her greatest impact is the role she plays within our students' lives. The students with whom she works closely not only have an uphill battle in learning difficult high school content, but also must overcome the language barrier. Outside of her language assistance, Leonore genuinely cares about all of her students, and her students constantly share how much they care about Leonore, <clears throat> excuse me, and the important role she plays in their lives. Thank you, Leonore, for everything you do to make our students' first high school experience the most successful it can be. Congratulations. <laughs> And next up, we have Fairfield High School Assistant Principals Erin Blankenship, Jen Mott, 
and Dr. Becky Salyers. First up is Melvin Williams. Over the past two years, Mr. Melvin Williams and his endless positive attitude have become a staff and student favorite and an integral part of the Fairfield High School culture. Teachers note that Melvin is a saint, is the nicest human being on the planet, and often note how lucky we are to have Melvin work at the high school. One of the biggest testimonies to Melvin's impact is the number of students who have met him, typically while in trouble, and, co and come back to update him on their improvement or just come to eat lunch with him. Melvin has gone above and beyond to help serve our students. Most notably, after speaking with students, Melvin took it upon himself to provide dress clothes for students who were in need. Mr. Williams' impact is immeasurable, and it is our honor to award him with this year's Golden Apple. Congratulations. <laughs> The second recipient from the senior high school is Liz Gladish. Liz is an integral part of the World Language Department as a Spanish teacher and mentor for students and new teachers. Recently, she started leading the district fishing trip, organizing this opportunity for our students with special needs and our seniors who work as their buddies. As one of the most influential community events in Fairfield, Liz's heart for Fairfield students shines in her planning as she individually matches buddies. One current teacher says, as a Fairfield alum, I got to witness firsthand the magic of this day. Now a teacher of students with special needs, I see the hours, energy, and love that are selfishly, or selflessly, rather, poor. <laughs> that's just, just a couple letters. <laughs> yeah, you're not selfish. Selfless. <laughs> Selflessly poured into it. Liz leads a team that truly transforms all who are lucky enough to say that they went to the Fairfield High School fishing trip. We are all better because of her passion to make this the best for students and seniors. Congratulations to selfless Liz. <laughs> Next up from the high school, Mr. Kurt Etter. It is with pride that FHS is able to award Mr. Kurt Etter with this year's Golden Apple. You've probably seen the media attention paid to Mr. Etter and his AP Physics students this year. During the late fall, Mr. Etter came to administration excited about entering a team of his students in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. This contest would require students to pitch ideas for how to tackle a real life issue using many aspects of physics, technology, and most importantly, problem solving. Little did he probably think that in the end, the students would walk away with over $50,000 in technology awarded, a top 10 finish in the nation, and an all expenses paid trip to New York City. Mr. Etter went above and beyond for his students, led by example, and I think had a lot of fun along the way. Thank you, Kurt. Congratulations to Kurt. Please welcome Superintendent Billy Smith. Angie, would you like to read this next one? <laughs> the, the next one is Angie Neal. <laughs> Angie currently serves as a coordinator of district information, but that title does not do justice to what Angie does for our school district. We often talk about the importance of our district telling our own story and Angie has proven to be an, an invaluable part 
of that strategy. How does the coordinator of district information do that, you may ask? Each week, our employees receive a newsletter called Week at a Glance. This newsletter highlights all of the outstanding things happening in our school buildings. Each year, she leads the process to publish our quality profile, which provides an overview of all the wonderful things taking place in our district. Angie organizes our retiree recognition presentation, our state of the community luncheon, and yes, she is the one working behind the scenes to make sure that tonight is perfect for all of our Golden Apple recipients. These events would not be what they are without her special touch. I have told her that everything she touches becomes first class. I am very thankful that I have the opportunity to work alongside Angie. Thank you for all you do, Angie. Congratulations. And the next recipient is Jeff Madden. <laughs> Jeff currently serves as the Director of Student Services. We often joke about the phrase, all other duties as assigned. No one's daily duties encompass that phrase more than Jeff. Over the years, Jeff has become an expert in many areas. It has become the, the norm for Jeff to be the default when someone asks a question about a topic to which no one knows the answer. Over the years, Jeff has made presentations to the board and our community in regard to open enrollment, safety and security, food service, and the health center, just to name a few. These are just a few of the areas in which Jeff has assumed a leadership role in our district. Behind the scenes, he works closely with our administrators and parents to resolve a variety of issues that occur throughout the course of a school year. Jeff takes the time to listen to others and is always willing to assist, which is why he often ends up doing presentations, solving problems, etc. He is happy to do all that he does and is the first one to say, is there anything I can do to lighten your load? Be careful what you ask for, Jeff. <laughs> our district is better because of Jeff's service to our staff, students, and community. Thank you for all that you do, Jeff. Congratulations. We'd like to ask our Golden Apple winners to please join board members in the lobby for a picture in just a moment. And also a special thank you to our student photographers. Please stand up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And board members, do you have any comments that you'd like to? Comments from the board? Sure. What? <laughs> There's snickering out there. Uh, <clears throat> you know, think about this. How many gallons of spilled milk have been cleaned up in a year? How many corn dogs or hamburgers have been cooked? How many miles have our drivers <clears throat> driven safely? How many kids have we transported safely? And how many students have had their talents unleashed by the people that you see here tonight? So what I would like you to do is indulge me for a moment. If you're a family member, please stand and remain standing. If you're a friend, Please stand and remain standing. If you're a colleague, please stand and remain standing. And so let's give our recipients a standing ovation. Besides that, we all needed to stretch a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Birdie. Any other comments? Yes, if I could. Uh, I'd like you to think back to opening day ceremonies, right? Seems like just yesterday, right? 
Uh, I had the honor on behalf of my colleagues here on the board to speak that day, and I talked about those golden apple moments that I knew you would have, and uh, we hold in reverence and such great respect the impact that you have on our children in the district here and on your coworkers. And so I really appreciate, we really appreciate all that you do and the difference it makes to make us all better. Thank you. I'd like to just say congratulations. And it's the little things, it's the large things, it's all of the things in between. Thank you so much for everything that you've done to uplift the students here, uh, your other coworkers, and we couldn't do it without you. Thank you. Um, some of you may know that today the seniors went back to their elementary schools. I'm gonna get like choked up. Um, to, to go back to their elementary schools in their cap and gowns and walk down the hallways. And I just want to thank all of you, all of you, um, put your love and time and energy into those kids and they wouldn't be where they are without you. So thank you very, very much. I also want to say uh, thank you to all of our award winners tonight. Um, we have such great people in this district, and you are the best of the best, and we congratulate you, and we thank you, and our kids are indebted to you, so thank you very much. So at this time, we'll take a brief recess, and the board will make our way out into the lobby. I think Mrs. Neal said we're going to be on the benches. The board will be on the benches, and then the recipients will stand behind us. And uh, family, you're more than welcome to join us out there for the, uh, to take pictures. And then you're free to leave. You do not need to come back into the meeting. We have to. <laughs> but you don't need to stay for the rest of the meeting. So at this time, we'll take a brief recess.